Hello everyone, myself Priti Vishkarma and in this video we will discuss the topic RMSC that stands for Rashtri Madhimik Shiksha Abhiyan. Our government has been working for the progress of the nation and in this direction government brings so many policies and schemes from time to time. A number of committees have been organized for the development in the field of education. Under these policies, our Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh introduced the RMSA policy on 15th August 2007. It was launched in 2009. RMSA is a centrally sponsored scheme of Ministry of HRD, that is Human Resources Department, for the development of the secondary education throughout the nation. Although Sub Siksha Abhyan was launched, in which the emphasis was given on the primary education of children between age 6 to 14 years. After its success, Ramsa was introduced, which aims to provide secondary education to the children of age 14 to 18 years. Along with that, it also emphasizes on the quality of education. RMSA aims that after completion of the primary education, children should continue their studies and they enroll themselves in secondary education. Sub Siksha Abhyan covers the education of children up to 8th class and RMSA focus on the quality education of class 9th and 10th. Let us discuss about the aims and objectives of RMSA. The first emphasis was given on the universalization of the secondary education. It means no children between age 14 to 18 years is deprived from getting education on secondary level. In this direction, the RMSA ensures that the secondary school should be located within the distance of 5 to 10 km and the higher secondary should be 7 to 10 km from the residential area so that they do not have to spend money on transportation. It was assumed that by the end of 2017, there would be 100% enrollment. Means, children between the age of 14 to 18 years got admission in the class 9th and 10th. And the emphasis was also given on the retention of their admission by the end of 2020. That means, the student who got admission in the secondary classes will not drop out their study without its completion. These are the main objectives of RMSA. Along with that, there are some more objectives which comes under this mission. Special attention given to the education of girls. It ensures that the socially weaker section, SC, ST, OBC or physically disabled children should not be neglected. They will get all the provisions and benefits that comes under the norms of RMSA. And for this, common school system is adopted so that children will get education with all facilities and they do not deny to go to school. It aims to provide physical facilities and ensures that every school will get the basic infrastructure to run it smoothly. Students and teachers will not face any kind of issues during teaching learning process. It ensures the availability of additional classroom for science and maths. Equipments in the science laboratory, number of books should be available in the library, toilet facilities and clean drinking water. Under the central sponsored scheme, the ICT education would be given. Separate room for art and craft, hostel facility would be given to the girls and the teachers who are residing far from the schools. The government ensures that there would be no barrier that leads to the withdrawal of the enrollment from the school. Every organization has their own approaches and strategies to target their goals. Similarly, Ramsa has focused on these three areas that is access, quality and equity. Let us discuss all these three in detail. If we talk about the access, it means education should be affordable and school must be approachable. Transport facility given to the girls and teachers who have to cover a long distance to reach to the school. Evening shifts are also started for those students who are not able to attend classes in morning. And for that, there is a need to form a committee with certain norms and guidelines under the RMSA. In this area, 
the special attention is given to the quality improvement in education such as there should be basic infrastructure in schools like blackboard chalk chair table drinking water etc teacher pupil ratio should be 30 is to 1 so that every children will get attention of a teacher focus will be given on the subject english maths and science teachers will get training during their service period so that the quality of teaching should be improved proper arrangement of science laboratory and computer labs curriculum and examination should be updated bridge courses was also introduced for the dropout students who left their studies under any circumstances hostel facilities given to the teachers and the most important initiative that has taken to improve the quality of education is that ashram schools were upgraded to the secondary schools and the vocational courses included in the syllabus to improve the skills of the student for equity rmsc focus on these points micro planning should be done at different levels scholarship schemes for girls minorities and disabled children were introduced special enrollment drive for the weaker section the emphasis was also given that the disabled children should not be neglected female teachers were appointed in the schools to promote the girls education there should be separate toilet for girls students who belongs to minorities will get the facility of free boarding students will get free books and uniform so that there should be no financial burden on their parents children who are not able to attend school or for the drop out students open learning and distance learning options has given to them to continue their studies moving on to the next topic no children should be neglected for that rmsc provides some provision to these groups the first one is girls and the children who belongs to sc st obc here emphasis is given on their enrollment free education scholarship schemes transport facilities boarding facility and a fixed amount is credited in the girls account after their enrollment another group is disabled children with special needs rmsc provides special educator to them training is given to the teachers so that the requirement of this kind of children should be entertained and the basic needs should be fulfilled to make sure there should be no barrier in the quality education drop out students have the provision to continue their studies with the bridge courses open learning distance learning and re enrollment in the alternative courses for the implementation of any scheme finance is a prior need for this central government and state government has come together for the success of rmsc according to the first deal the contribution of central government and state government was 75 is to 25 that means the central government would contribute 75% and the 25% would be donated by the state government but for the eastern state the ratio was 90 is to 10 for central government and state government respectively in november 2016 the ratio was decided 60 is to 40 and after 12th year plan now the contribution of central government and state government is equal there must be a management committee and organization in the school who is responsible for the proper functioning and the implementation of rmsc and for this proper monitoring and evaluation should be done at different levels from time to time by smdc at school level gram sabha and gram panchayat in rural areas district program coordinator and project approval board is responsible for funds proper online monitoring and evaluation and timely survey is done by the authorities although the government has to face many challenges and problems while implementation of any scheme but the fruitful outcome made us forget the pain this scheme has been resulted a positive impact in our education system 
Now the barriers has reduced. Children come school regularly, and increase in enrollment, and the ratio of the girl students has increased significantly.